This is Bangalore, the IT capital of India, the Silicon Valley of India, the Garden City of India and the City of Lakes. But all of that has been reduced to this. On Twitter, you may have seen many tweets regarding how the city got flooded. There are people in tractors, in JCBs and even their luxurious cars are floating in water. Some people are even wondering that if they should buy a boat to travel. But why is Bangalore witnessing all of this? After all, there are so many lakes and in just few hours of rain, the city witnesses water logging and it looks like flooding. The reason behind flooding this time is excessive rainfall, encroached land, unplanned development and allegations of corruption. First of all, let us have a look at how much it has rained. According to a report based on data from the Indian Meteorological Department, Bangalore Urban has witnessed 141% of excess rainfall this season, whereas in rural Bangalore, it has recorded 114% excess rainfall. So yes, the rainfall has been excessive. But is that the only reason behind this water logging? India is rapidly developing and all metro cities are witnessing massive urbanization and industrialization. As the cities are growing, the natural areas like forests, lakes and wetlands are shrinking. These are in fact the areas that save cities from floods. And this problem is common in all of India's metro cities. Look at Chennai, Mumbai and Delhi. All of them have same problem. Now let us know more about Bangalore. It is known as a city of lakes. But considering what is happening in Bangalore, it will soon be called the city of disappearing lakes. There is a reason why I'm saying this. A 2017 news article quoted a House committee report highlighting a very shocking fact. It said that out of 837 lakes in Bangalore urban district, 88 lakes with the area of 1307 acres have totally vanished from the map throughout the years. Vanished. And not just this, in 1985, there were 51 healthy lakes in the urban districts that were reduced to 17 in 2017. The situation in rural Bangalore is not so good either. 42 out of 710 lakes have been completely disappeared. But what do I mean by when I say the word disappeared? Well, development or let us call it as unplanned development ate it away, quite literally. They disappeared because they were encroached upon. As per the Municipal Corporation of Bangalore, BBNP, of the 206 lakes it sees, only 21 lakes are encroachment free. Some of them have become slums, some are being used by the government and the rest is mixed encroachment. The other reason is lack of infrastructure and investment in the drainage system. Drains are blocked or not completely maintained. At the same time, since the city does not have a proper plan to treat excessive rainfall or even proper disposal of wastewater, it results in water logging. All of this could have been solved by proper planning. This level of encroachment is not possible without civil negligence and corruption. And many residents of Bangalore have been complaining about the same on social media. Bangalore has world's best IT companies and it has India's best talent. It contributes massively towards the GDP and even taxes. But despite that, this modern city has been reduced to this. Yes. Excessive rainfall is a problem, but who would answer for civil negligence and corruption? What do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, do not forget to drop in a like and subscribe to India Times.